fried chicken and milk. Ah, you're back. Hey, what's going on, guys? Tevi here. Thanks for tuning into today's video. Um, today we are looking at your guys' food combos. Now, I said to give me some of your worst, to give me some of your worst, and some of your favorites. Some of them were completely terrible, I'm not gonna lie. And I didn't have that many since. No one's really in the Discord server, and the people who are, aren't active. You guys should join the Discord server. Link will be down below, and there will also be a picture right here, and some other stuff on this hand. I look like I'm going insane. <laughs> and I'll also put my live streaming channel, which will, live streams will be every, I'm hoping that I can do them every Saturday, but there's no guarantee that they will be every Saturday. Alright, let's get going, cheesers. You see, we starting off and already some of y'all need to go to jail immediately. There should be no fucking reason y'all are mixing chocolate ice cream and ketchup. Like, chocolate ice cream is delicious and ketchup is okay, but mixing them together should not be good. Alright, banana, banana and sulfur. sulfur. Yeah, I know this I know this shit is fake. Cause there's no way you have access to sulfur. And you got a Sonic PAV. Yeah, there's no way you have access to sulfur. No, let me skip let me skip some of those. Fried chicken and milk. Why? Spaghetti and frozen peas. Now you see, I could tolerate this one if the peas weren't frozen, because there's a bunch of pastas, like pasta dishes you can make with peas, but the fact you specified that the peas were frozen, yeah, you need to go to jail. Now, fish sticks and mayonnaise. I know this one, this one doesn't really seem that bad, because like, a lot of people, a lot of people like to mix mayonnaise with a lot of stuff. So generally seeming, this one doesn't seem as bad as the others. It's still horrible, but it's not as bad as the others. Scrambled eggs with onions. Okay, this one, this one right here, this isn't too bad. It's actually pretty normal. If you put something else with it, like, like, like some cheese or some peppers, yeah, yeah, that'd be fire, but with onions itself, nah, it'd be, like, slick because of the onions. Now, this one's mine. PBJ dip milk. I don't know where this came from, but I, like, when I was little, I would rip my PBJ in half because I, I couldn't use a knife. I found out one day in, like, school or something that dipping it in milk softens it because... For some reason, I didn't like eating the crust, so I did it in milk to soften the crust. And I was like, hmm, this shit fire. And I've been doing that ever since. And I know some of y'all will flame me in the comments for saying this, because this seems outlandish. It seems weird to just even... Because the PBJ milk is a classic, but the fact that it's dipped in milk might put some of y'all off. Alright. White rice and banana. Now, I know this might be good, but coming from me, I personally think it's shit. Because, like, you got something sweet. Oops. Like, you got something sweet with white rice. Cause actually, no, because it'd just be really sweet then, because rice doesn't really have a flavor unless you give it one. He didn't specify, he said it was just white rice. So it's probably just like sweet rice, and that's not that bad. 
and with ketchup. This is the only good food combo on here. I'm not even going to say that mine is good, because I know some of y'all think it's atrocious for the fact that I even put it, put PBJ in milk. But egg with ketchup, that's not actually underrated. It's actually pretty overrated for some people. And yeah, because, like, it gives it, like, a, a salty herb flavor, depending on what you have with it. But if it's just, like, scrambled eggs, then, yeah, ketchup is the main thing you put with scrambled eggs. Toothpaste and orange. He told me to toothpaste and orange juice myself because I said for what I said for it. He, he thought I meant that it <laughs> put terrible ones because of because I told him to figure it out after you put right rice and banana. Alright. That's the end of this video because only one person participated because no one no one joined no there's like twenty people on the server. Yeah, let me see. How many people are are in the server right now? It's, there's like 20 people. Yeah, there's 26 people in the server right now. There's 26 people. And only one person participate. Another person was here, but they didn't participate. So I'm gonna need y'all. I'm gonna need y'all to join the Discord server, please. So we can do more community content like this. Because I know that my channel is dry as hell. That's because I want to do a lot of community content. And I don't have a community. Because I have like 300 subs. And only 20 of them join the server. Some of which don't even know. Some of which aren't even subscribed to my channel. They just know me in Discord. Alright. That's the end of this video. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thank you.